I'm Anita. I'm 18 years old and on the 29th of June 2011 I left England and travelled to Madagascar for 19 days in which I helped with biological research, learned about marine ecology and experienced the Malagasy way of life. This video is of my journey. Travelling to Madagascar was long. There was a 10 hour evening flight from London Heathrow to Nairobi, Kenya. And from Nairobi, we were connected to the capital city of Madagascar, Antana Narivo, in a four hour flight. Having the window seat for this short flight had its advantages. finally arrived and we met the heat of Madagascar as we stepped off the plane. We had our 12 hour drive further north to Mahajanga. We arrived, exhausted and at the dead of night, but when we woke up I was greeted by an amazingly picturesque view. I know, I've seen that thing with and I Seriously. Yeah. The sea this morning was less than 100 steps away. Wow. Good. There's our bungalow. Come on, what's that? Huh? Now, full of breakfast, we saw the trucks we'd be spending four hours travelling in. It was time to ditch the smooth tarred roads. Now we were going off-road, straight through the Mahajanga savanna and to our first camp called Mariarano. As a young girl Mariorano is a small village found outside the city of Mahajanga and is in the northern area of Madagascar where the dry forests are. It's also a short distance away from an estuary. This gave us the opportunity to see wetland and mainland species of small mammals, lemurs, reptiles or birds. All these specialist animal groups had their own scientists that ran walks during the morning, afternoon or evening. This gave us the opportunity to look at day dwellers as well as nocturnal species. And some species of lemurs that we spotted in Mariorano include pygmy mouse lemurs, are one of the smallest primates in the world and are nocturnal. The cockerel sifaka, not to be mistaken by the southern Viro sifaka, that is known for its sideways skipping on the ground. The Western Avahi. The name may not mean much to you, nor to me when I first heard it, but this particular lemur is endangered, and it was an honour to have seen three in one tree. Grey plated lizards. Day geckos. These little geckos have the ability to break their tails and regenerate their tails at a later time. You can see the difference of a new tail and an old tail with this lizard. After three days at Mariorano, we packed all of our gear and started trekking to our next campsite called Matsudori.
Camp Matsudroi was our second camp and was very different to Mariurano. The first difference was the large lake we camped next to and this area had about five or six different lakes surrounding us, which meant that crocodiles were active in the area. As well as that, the area had never been surveyed by scientists before, so this was all exciting and new. Our days at Camp Matsudroi were all planned ahead, and now I'm going to show you the exciting things we saw at Matsudroi. Look at his little tongue! Well, you've got much bigger mouth than he has. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, he's such a beast. He's just around. herding zebu. Casual zebu herding. <laughs> oh, he just flipped himself back up again. He's definitely not dead. No, no, very, very alive. Oh, he's really dead. I thought when he said dead, it was kind of like close. Yeah, just, just now, been. Yeah, just like just now dead. But it's pretty dead. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. These frogs can. We're finding out a lot more animals can change colour than we thought before. Um. <laughs> I'm not, however, A level English, so that's a problem. <laughs> that is a problem. <laughs> Huge! What sort of frog is he? He's massive. What is Tigrinus. he? It's like the biggest frog we can have. Can I take a picture of his face? Yeah. It's like, oh, what do I do? Oh, he's a fast little oh, dear. After three days at Matsudroi, we hit the dusty road once more and headed back to Mariorano. From Mariorano, we met the other school that would be travelling with us for 16 hours, all the way to the port. We arrived at the port in the early hours and took our boat to Nosy B. Nosy meaning island in Malagasy. This short boat ride was breathtaking. After 30 minutes on the boat, we arrived at our final camp, located at the lip of Nosy B in Maradoka. Our camp was called the Camp of Fall on Hope. It was at Camp Fall on Hope that I started learning about marine ecology at several talks, as well as practical snorkelling sessions. One of the most interesting things I learned was located next to our camp. This was a fully legal coral farm that grew and bred coral to be sold to buy. One is soft producing it's like about this size, but it's bigger. This one is the second, we call it the second generation, because we have already stopped with the first generation. With the first generation, we make it small like this, on the We just get all around with the corals and we just place it here with the two big, the same system, okay? We place it with a toothpick and we just wait for three or four weeks because there are some corals who take time to be fixed on the stone. There are some who fix very quickly. It depends on the type of the coral. <laughs> I undertook boat snorkels and one land point snorkel and both were interesting. I also managed to have my camera with me for the majority of them. Here you see what I saw underwater. It's like forgetting the words to your favorite song You can't believe it You were always singing along It was so easy And the words so sweet You can't remember You try to feel the beat One week passed. We had to make our way home now. 
This was a sad time, due to the fact that we'd grown close with the camp leaders. And it was sad to say goodbye. Come on, the shop! Oh yeah, the shop guys! Oh, 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 Madagascar was an amazing experience, an experience that I'll never forget, and I hope to experience once again in the future. We saw some amazing things and went through some physical and mental hardships, but after all that, we've come out as stronger and better people. I'm Aitan Lube, I'm 18 years old, and on the 17th of July, I arrived home from my trip to Madagascar. I was there for 19 days. My camera was with me for 19 days. And now, you have two.